Hello and welcome to the Friday, March 24th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Augusta, Georgia. With all the news lately about uh, snipping and uh, redacting tools that uh, do leave some of the original information that users attempted to remove alive in the image files, I did today publish a quick diary post about how to safely redact images. Buggy tools has been a big issue here, so uh, this uh, diary entry is a little bit uh, with that in mind, uh, with uh, buggy tools that may not necessarily do what you think uh, they're doing and what you can do in addition to just using a simple tool to override parts of the image uh, to make sure that the image that you, for example, post on social media does not contain any additional content. Couple uh, Quick tricks here is again converting images to different image formats or maybe taking screenshot of images after they have been redacted. Some caveats here where of course you have to be careful that the rest of your screen when you're taking a screenshot is clean. Also another little trick here and it's maybe a little bit extreme but uh, probably effective where you're just taking a snapshot with a camera of your screen after you redacted the image. Uh, some caveats here of course is that the camera may add its own metadata and that you may have to look for things like for example screen reflections that may be visible in the camera. And apparently Microsoft is already working on a fix for the snipping tool in Windows 11. And CISA, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, has released a new tool untitled uh, Goose Tool is what they're uh, calling it uh, with a focus on auditing your Microsoft cloud logs. It does work uh, with uh, Microsoft 365 you know, Unified Audit Logs, Azure Activity Logs, Microsoft Defender for IoT Alerts and more. And basically what it does is it extracts all of these different logs and then looks for anomalies and alerts you of possible events that you may want to investigate further. Uh, looks like a pretty interesting tool, in particular with the big focus on things like Azure, Azure AD and uh, Microsoft uh, 365. It does run on Windows as well as on Mac OS. The tool is open source and free and uh, published on GitHub. The GitHub URL can be found in the show notes. And about two weeks ago, I mentioned a patch for the Veeam backup service, their backup replication product that patched the vulnerability that allowed unauthenticated users access to unencrypted credentials. We now have additional details regarding this vulnerability from Horizon 3, including a proof of concept exploit that will do just that. It will extract unencrypted credentials. There was a little bit of confusion about the original uh, announcement from uh, Veeam. They're saying that you can only request encrypted credentials. However, that is a little bit misleading here because, well, the backup service will also decrypt them for you. So even though they are encrypted uh, at storage, it uh, doesn't really matter as far as this exploit is concerned. The backup service listens on port 9401 TCP. And supply chain security company Phylum has an interesting article about how they found a malicious a Python module that attempts to use Unicode in order to hide its malicious code or, well, uh, essentially make it more difficult uh, to find the malicious uh, code. The code was hidden in setup.py and essentially what they're taking advantage of here is that uh, Python will normalize Unicode characters, which in short means if you do have a Unicode character that sort of looks like an S, for example, it will actually be interpreted as an S. So this allows attackers to essentially replace uh, Python uh, keywords with Unicode representations that are not easily recognized as these set Python uh, keywords. And that was used in this example to evade detection of the malicious code in setup.py. 
And we also have a Pwn to Own a contest going on again in Vancouver. This time, we, after day one, already have exploits for a Tesla Model 3, Microsoft Teams, Oracle's VirtualBox, and Ubuntu Desktop. As usual, any bugs found during this Pwn to Own will be reported to respective vendors, so hopefully we'll see patches soon. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.